Now, we've been broadcasting all day from this spectacular location above the Zocalo, the historic heart of Mexico City. And for more on what is going on in this vibrant metropolis, we're joined now by the mayor of Mexico City, Claudia Shanebaum. Thank you so much for Thank joining us. Thank you very us. much. Thank you. So let's start with the pandemic. You're a scientist and Mexico City has one of the highest vaccination rates in the world. That's How did right. you do that? Well, it's, uh, we believe in education above everything. Um, for example, the use of masks, we never put it as a uh, mandatory thing. We just explained that it was very, very important for the city and we are the city that probably uh, right now and during the pandemic use more uh, masks. And it's the same for vaccination. We have 95% of uh, uh, all the adults in Mexico City vaccinated already. So does that put you in a good position to come back economically from the pandemic, which has hit Mexico hard? That's right, uh, especially in terms of uh, labor. We lost a lot of formal labor, uh, jobs, a, a lot of formal jobs. And we are now in the uh, path of economic uh, recovery for the city. And that it's, uh, uh, you know, cities all over the world have many, many difficult problems in terms of recuperation of economics. But we are right now with a, with a plan that I think is going to work. Now you were elected partly to fight crime and corruption. Did those things get worse in the pandemic? No, no. Actually, uh, we have reduced the, uh, um, the violence in the city in around 45% in three years. Uh, for example, um, the main, main uh, delitos, I don't know how do you say it, uh, uh, the crime uh, in the city have reduced very, very important in the last three years for many, many reasons. First, to um, go through the causes, to rescue the young people. We have built two universities in Mexico City, public universities, in these three years. And the other thing is that we have a plan to, uh, to go with uh, Fiscalia and the police. So it was very important, law and order. Now there have been protests here on the streets of Mexico City against feminicide, the killings of women just because they're women. As a female mayor of Mexico City, do you think prosecutors should be doing more to punish those responsible? Yeah, it's, it's not something that you uh, have uh, results in a few time, I mean in, in few years. But we have done a very important thing. I decided two years ago to declare um, gender uh, emergency in the city, and we have reduced 23% the feminicides, the crimes for women in Mexico City. Uh, we have developed an integral plan, and we have a lot to do over it, uh, more, but um, we are aware that we have that, and that's very, very important to start looking you know, for solutions. You are often talked about as perhaps the first female president <laughs> of Mexico. Is this something on your to-do list? Uh, right now I'm, you know, concentrated in the city. We have three years ahead, you know, to be mayors and of, of, of the city. And it is, I mean, we are part of what we call the fourth transformation of Mexico, of the public, uh, the political transformation. First, the independence, second, the reform, the division between church and state, the third, the Mexican Revolution, and we are in the fourth transformation of the public life of Mexico City. I'm part of this movement that represents the Mexican uh, president, and right now I'm concentrating in the city and doing that for the city. Mayor Claudia Schaumbaum, thank you so much for thank joining you. us. Not ruling out, perhaps <laughs> running for president of Mexico. Uh, so that is the view here from Mexico City. And that is the story of the mayor. Back to you for now.